Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following my heritage for a while, you know they're constantly pushing the boundaries of what DNA and genealogy technology can do. And this time, they've rolled out two game-changing updates, one to their famous theory of family relativity and another to how they actually process DNA kits. These changes could completely transform the way you interpret your DNA matches and uncover connections you didn't even know existed. So in this video, I'll walk you through what's new, what it means for your research, and why this is a huge step forward for MyHeritage users everywhere. Let's start with the big one, the expansion of theory of family relativity. If you've used MyHeritage DNA before, you know this feature is all about bridging the gap between DNA results and family trees. It uses advanced algorithms to combine data from DNA matches, family trees, and historical records, and then suggests possible relationships or theories that explain how you and another person might be related. Now here's what's new. MyHeritage has just added 103 million new theories. That's a 44% increase in total relationship paths since their last major update. That means millions of new connections that didn't exist before are now discoverable. Maybe you had a DNA match that MyHeritage couldn't previously explain, someone with shared DNA but no visible tree connection. Well, with this update, that same match might now come with a full theory, showing exactly how your trees and records connect. For genealogists, this is huge. Because every theory potentially saves hours or even days of manual cross-referencing. It's not about replacing your analysis. It's about giving you a solid lead to investigate further. These theories combine data from MyHeritage Trees, Jenny World Family Tree, Family Search, and billions of historical records. So even if your tree doesn't directly overlap with another user's, MyHeritage can bridge the gap using other trees and sources. Of course, it's still important to verify every theory, treat them as research clues, not confirmed facts. But the scale of this new expansion means that many users will suddenly find long-lost links between distant cousins or shared ancestors that were invisible before. Now, let's talk about how this update impacts your DNA match list. If you log into MyHeritage and head to your DNA Matches section, you might notice new icons or labels showing Theory of Family Relativity next to certain matches. Each theory will outline the possible connection path between you and your match, sometimes even through multiple trees. You can click View Theory to explore the proposed lineage. It will show you step-by-step step how both of you trace back to the same ancestor, including which trees or records MyHeritage used to build that theory. This makes it far easier to prioritize which matches to explore first. For example, matches with detailed relationship paths are usually the ones worth examining before those without any context. And with 103 million new paths added, it's definitely worth revisiting your DNA match list, especially if you haven't checked in a few months. Many genealogists are finding that even long-standing mystery matches now have fully developed theories attached. Now, let's move to the second major update, which is a massive leap in DNA technology itself. Since late 2025, MyHeritage has begun processing new DNA test kits using whole genome sequencing WGS, instead of the older genotyping arrays. This is a big deal, and here's why. Traditional DNA tests, like the ones used by most major companies until recently, only analyze specific regions of your DNA, usually around 600,000 to 700,000 genetic markers. That's a lot of data, but it's still only a tiny fraction of your full genome. Whole genome sequencing, on the other hand, reads your entire DNA sequence. We're talking billions of data points instead of hundreds of thousands. So, how does this affect genealogists? Better ethnicity accuracy. With more detailed data, MyHeritage can refine ethnicity estimates even further, 
giving more accurate breakdowns for regional origins and minority populations that were previously hard to distinguish. More precise DNA matches. With richer data, the matching algorithms can better distinguish between true genealogical matches and coincidental similarities. This means fewer false positives and stronger, more reliable matches. Potential for deeper discoveries. In the long term, whole genome sequencing opens the door to identifying even more distant relationships and genetic connections that weren't detectable with the old method. This doesn't mean you need to retest immediately if you already have a kit processed under the old system. MyHeritage still maintains compatibility between both data types. But going forward, new test takers will benefit from that increased precision. It's also an important signal that MyHeritage is preparing for the future of genetic genealogy, where full genome data will allow even deeper analysis and cross-platform research. So, putting it all together, this combination of a massive theory of family relativity expansion and the shift to whole genome sequencing really shows how MyHeritage is evolving from a traditional genealogy platform into a full-scale, DNA-driven research powerhouse. For us genealogists, this means more connections between DNA matches and family trees, stronger evidence for validating relationships, and a clearer view of ancestral origins, especially as the data improves over time. If you've been on the fence about checking your MyHeritage matches lately, this is absolutely the time to log back in. There might be theories waiting there right now that could unlock a whole new branch of your family tree. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you love genealogy updates like this one. And in the comments, let me know, did this new theory of family relativity update change your DNA match list? Have you spotted any new connections since the rollout? I'd love to hear your experiences, and as always, happy researching!